Hi, now we will start learning about SVG in HTML5. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics which is used in HTML5 to draw the 2D shapes like you will have like ellipse or rectangle or maybe any particular polygon. So basically when you will start working with this uh, SVG like Scalable Vector Graphics it is basically helpful for implementation of the charts like pie chart where you have some shapes to draw all right similarly if you have the 2d graphs you can make a use of this svg as well because it doesn't give you support for 3d but as far as the 2d support is concerned it can give you that in an awesome way so let's get started with the implementation of svg in html5 so in the implementation of svg that is killer vector graphics what i have done inside the body i have placed the svg tag that is whatever svg element you want to place it you want to put it inside if you want you can specify the height and width of that particular section where you want to put the scalar vector graphic elements like the first element which i am putting here is the circle which id i have set to red circle coordinate of x and y axis are set and the radius as well so I want that red color should be filled inside this circle so I have set fill is equal to red so these are the only things which are required to draw a circle successfully so let's save this document come to the browser and let's refresh and here you can see that okay this is the circle of 50 radius and coordinates are also 50 make sure that the radi the coordinates will be related to the radius only if you want you can use some css classes in order to put the alignment of this particular shape now in the another example what i am doing is i am trying to create a rectangle so right here in the same svg tag i have replaced the circle tag and i have added the rect tag so here rect rect means it's a red rectangle i want to create with the width 300 and height 100 since it's a rectangle i am putting the width and height different but if you want to draw a circle square you can just put the same values all together and again as the name says it's a red rect i'm red filling the red color inside it so again i'm saving the changes i'm coming to the browser and we'll refresh it and here you can see that yes i got the red rectangle similarly you can put some more elements in the same way like for now i'm trying to make a straight line here so when i want to make a line inside the svg i have placed the line tag when you want to create a straight line you have to pass two coordinates that is x1 y1 and x2 y2 so the initial coordinates will be x1 y1 all right like as x1 is 0 y1 is 0 means i want to start it from the left top corner and the x2 is 200 y2 is 100 and i want to make the line of red color with the stroke width that is the width of the line will be two pixel so let's save this and come to the browser and here you can see like this is starting from the very corner all right and it is going through the way if you want you can just do some changes in order to see the reflection out there all right and this is how you can draw a straight line using the svg tag next it's turn for the ellipse so if you want to create the ellipse it is svg element again means the svg tag inside i have replaced the line with the ellipse tag so when you talk about the ellipse again like circle it would be having the coordinate for the x and y but the main thing with the ellipse is the radius of x and y axis may vary so here you can see the radius for x is 100 and radius for i is 50 and like always i am putting the red color inside so you can see when i'll run this in the browser it would be like in this shape because the radius of x axis is more you can see it's more wide than height all right 
so if you want you can just make some changes like let me do 150 all right because of its uh, coordinates itself it is shown in this particular way all right but the thing is now the radius for of y is more than that so let me just make some changes out there in the coordinate so that you can see it completely and I'll also increase the height of this SVG so that we can see it in a better way all right so this is the ellipse next it comes here that is polygon so inside the same SVG tag I'm putting the polygon tag when you talk about polygon that means you can put n number of coordinates inside it so what I have done here is I have put the points attribute inside which there is x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and so on you can put even more and whatever will be created the last coordinate will be attached to the first coordinate that is for sure and I want to fill that with the red color so let's save it and let's refresh it here and you can see this is the polygon all right if you want you can add one more point out there let's say 200 comma 200 all right so you can see this is something like that so these are the several shapes which you can draw inside the SVG tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning